Well, many people think basketball is just about putting a ball in a hoop, but in reality it's way more than that. You know, it's, it's very mental, uh, very physical, and so it's kind of the whole package in terms of, uh, you know, a sport. It had to be her! It had to be Tammy Blackman I was born in Baltimore, USA, probably less than a year before we moved, I think, to Nigeria. I remember distinctively going to school in Nigeria when I was really young. I don't remember what age, but it was very young. Then we moved to London. I've, basically, London's been my hometown since maybe one years old to when I left when I was 15. Actually, to take it even further back, I started playing tennis, first of all. Tennis was my first love. You know, my goal was to become the next Serena Williams, you know, the next Venus Williams. It was me and my sister. We wanted to be professional. However, kind of learned the hard way, even though we were we kind of started late in terms of trying to get to that pro, pro, pro level. So one day after tennis practice, my dad kind of had a hard conversation with me and was like, what do you think about basketball? And I was completely against it. I did not want to play basketball. I kind of wanted to go my own way, you know? I was like, ah, I really was, I really was against it. But I was like, okay, you know what, I'll just try it. Um, so the next year I was uh, invited to look to go to a school, to school in, in, in America. And I ended up going to Blair Academy in New Jersey. You know, then, then, be, then began the recruiting process. So the recruiting process uh, was when colleges come and see you, they're interested in, in, in your basketball. So they kind of send you letters saying, oh, do you want to come to our school? Da, 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 da. Then I got one from Harvard. And I knew as soon as I, I got this letter, I was like, this is the school I'm going to. And it was a blast, you know, very challenging, academically and athletically, to be honest. Um, and actually, before I played my first university game, I played in the Olympics, the 2012 Olympics with Great Britain. And so this was when I was 19 years old, and it was just, you know, it was at London. So it was just a, just a once in a lifetime experience, to be honest, to, you know, to have it in your hometown like that and it was just amazing. I was drafted to the Minnesota Lynx WNBA team. But now, yeah, so I now play in the WNBA and overseas. Even though it's not contact sport, is it still as physical as some people might not think? Oh, it's absolutely a contact sport. That, that terminology should be changed, in my opinion, because, you know, we're allowed to get away. We get away with so much stuff, you know, on the court. We're so physical out there and you know it's only getting more physical it seems um, as the years go by so um, I had patella tendinopathy it was just like a chronic tendinitis I would just dread being on the core and I you know obviously the pain is I have I attributed that to playing basketball so that that was where the hate for basketball came from, but um, you know, when you know you can't, you can't do the moves you want to make, and you're just not as athletic, and you're literally like physically restricted, and it just sucked. But I met with a fantastic trainer, David Buer, who just helped me just get strong again. Like my whole body was rejuvenated. I didn't, I didn't play, I didn't touch a ball for maybe about a month or so. And we were just working on my body, just getting strong. I was the biggest I've ever been. I was like two ten pounds, which is like 95 kilograms, like, and now I'm 80. That was such a great time and just feeling strong again and just loving the sport and being, feeling in control of my body. Yeah, I mean, so in the league, um, and actually also overseas, what we do is try and get a nice schedule going on, routine going on in terms of basketball training on the court and then kind of recovery slash strengthening in the gym. And so we kind of have to try and find that right balance and not overtrain, you know, because you can do a lot of stuff on the court. Um, but when you're young, you don't really understand the importance of looking after your body. You really don't, because you're real, you're spry, you're, you know, life and you're ready to go and you recover quickly. And but when you get to your 20s plus, it's like, okay, whew, I kind of need to, <laughs> I need to shake these out a bit or something. Like I need to really like warm up and I need to make sure my mind's right. I need to make sure I'm recovering right so that my muscles stay ready. Because basketball, especially when you play year round in the WNBA and overseas, it, it takes a toll on your body. It takes a toll on your mental and your physical. And sometimes you just need to have a break. So this is kind of what my time in Italy is all about. I need to, I need time to, for, to myself, 
uh, to rest and re recuperate.